for joining me today on how to customize a site template. We'll be taking you through how to use Pow Manager to simply and quickly change the look and feel of any page. Before we start to customize our site template, let's take a look at what our current page looks like. So this is just our generic Orion intranet page. You can see all the web parts and how they're structured. With all this in mind, let's show you how easy it is to use Powell Manager to make the necessary changes in your intranet page. Once we're in Powell Manager, you're going to want to go to Design and then Sites. You're going to see several custom sites already built, but we're going to make a new one. So if we go down, we're going to see Powell Intranet, and these are all of our pre-built sites. We're going to look for Orion because this is going to be an Orion homepage that we're replacing. You'll see Orion Home there. If you click in, you can see a representation if you want to make sure this is, in fact, what we're looking for, and it is. Once you know that's it, we're going to clone it. Let's go ahead and give it a name. Great. Now that we've done that, we go directly into the clone we just created. You can see the global settings we're in now. Let's start off by going to the pages. Once we're in pages, we get an idea of what the site's structured like. You can see several of the pages. The one we're going to focus on is Home User and Communication Focus. So let's edit that. When we're in here, we can start to drill into the actual page itself. Let's change the layout. Let's go ahead and create a new page layout altogether. First thing you want to do is simply give it a name. And then because we are building this from scratch, we get to add in all the sections and build the page the way we want. As you can see, we have several columns we can select. and They're going to di dictate which web parts we can associate on the page. So we're going to fill in some here. And then when we're all set, just make sure that you save. Now that we have columns, we can actually go down and start to see the web start start populating. We're seeing web parts populating here because when we cloned through the template, the web parts were already associated. So we can start to either change the web parts in here, use them, or add more. Let's do one of each. So we have a web part here, Powell Search Query. Let's go ahead and let's get rid of this one as well as what's happening in my apartment below. And let's add a web part. When we add web parts, you're going to see three different groups, Powell Intranet, Powell Intranet Connectors, and SharePoint. For our first one, let's do a Powell Intranet Connector, and let's add the weather web part. And you can see we get the options necessary and some questions around that web part. In this case, let's set it as geolocalization, Fahrenheit, and then save. And now if we go down, we'll be able to see the weather. And you know what? I actually want it higher. So I'm going to bring it back up to the top. And now the weather's at the top. On the right side, we don't have any web parts, so I'm going to add one here. For this one, let's go ahead and do clocks. And you can see that's already been added. And we could also add one more if we wanted to. Let's go straight to SharePoint and let's just do a document library. We're going to do documents. And we're going to have these media. And now you can see the document library is also represented. And then if you wanted to remove any, you can do through here. And as I mentioned before, you can easily move from one space to another. When we're done, we can commit. And then just to bring everything together, let's go back into the actual site template itself. And we've now talked about pages. We'll boil the lists. So if we go into lists, we can see the lists that are already been pulled in when we clone the template. Let's say we wanted to bring in a new list or create one. So I'm going to create a new list, title it, and 
and then determine how I want that list represented, and this one is going to be a test list. And you can see that predetermines my options, which I can, of course, change, versioning options, and then if we want to allow ratings, and we'll allow likes on this one. And now we can see that. When you're all said and done, you want to, of course, save. Make any other changes that you'd like to do. We're going to go back into the Deploy, Site Collections. You're going to select the site collection you'd like. Then if we go down, we can see Site Structure. Under Site Structure, you want to edit. And you want to change to the new um, site template that you just created. And now you can see you've changed. Make sure to save. And now that you're done, you can go back to global settings and you can sync your changes. And with that, you have now gone ahead and updated your main homepage with a new site template. Thank you. Thank you for joining and schedule a demo today to begin your digital workplace journey.